about yo sup <coughs> carver moses there's a dog crying somewhere how you doing contenders football four box number nine come on all right listen i'm just gonna settle this debate once and for all Allen Iverson, the greatest basketball player all time, pound for pound. Not up for discussion. Good luck, everybody. Where's Abraham? Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Spud Webb the goat. <laughs> nah, ain't no way Gretzky's the goat, man. That that kid, that kid from from uh, from the Mighty Ducks. What's his name? With the uh, with the knuckle puck. That guy is the all-time greatest. Duh, Marcus, duh. The, uh, you know, when it comes to golfers, it's Happy Gilmore, number one. Then you got Chubbs at number two. Rest in peace, Chubbs. And then number three, you got Shooter McGavin. And then at number four, you got Bob Barker. All right, can we all agree, fuck the Patriots? We don't want to see them in another Super Bowl. Can we all agree on that one at least? Since we're doing a football break. <laughs> Mike Gerber! <laughs> ah, Go Pet says no. <laughs> Anybody but the Patriots for the Super Bowl. Well, I was Alex. I was. And that's all that matters. That guy was funny. He's probably in training camp right now, man. Austin Pro, Titans Auto. Put them in the green. Deshaun Hamilton to 49 Broncos playoff ticket auto on card as well. I know JW. I, I just I hate the Patriots because they're they're just so damn good. I can't wait till they suck again. I swear, I feel like 90% of Patriots fans. Don't can't even name the quarterback that was there before Drew Bledsoe without the use of the internet. Von Miller to 99 uh, Broncos. I didn't see no Patriots fans. And then it comes 2001. Everybody's a Patriots fan. Bunch of bandwagon fools. Well, see, Golden Boy, you you would you're, you're probably a fan. That, or you just been watching, uh, you know, football that long to know, or remember a time when the Patriots were basically the Cleveland Browns of the NFL. 
Except that one year they made it to the to the to the Super Bowl, and they got whooped by Brett Favre. Zeke Elliott to twenty five MVP contender autograph for the boys. That's pretty sweet. Got Joshua Jackson, Packers Auto, Lee Jefferson Bengals Auto. There's got to be a monster lurking in one of these three boxes. I feel it. Any bowling fans in here? Random as hell. But what's the name of that bowling movie with Bill Murray and uh, and that other guy? I forget. I always forget his name, man. But that guy's awesome. Kingpin. There it is. I don't know, I just randomly thought about that. Not Big Lebowski, though, great movie. Great freaking movie. I hear they're remaking the Big Lebowski. The dude does not approve. Nah, it's, it's, it's definitely Kingpin. That, that's, although, Lebowski, they, they, they are... At the bowling alley for a while. Yo, Harden's been balling out. But you and I both know. I don't know, man. I'm 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 kind of torn on Harden. On on one side, he's a he's an offensive juggernaut mastermind. But defensively, the guy is just, my God. Me and you could score on James Harden, bro. Like, jeez. Jaleel Scott, Ravens out of here. I will say, though, he, he has been killing it. I've seen Goon, part one and two. They're not exactly happy-go-lucky movies, but they are good movies. Slapshot, I have not. It sounds familiar. Ito Smith, so two on card autographs in that box. There you go, Falcons. Josh Adams Eagles out of gray.
Anthony Everett. Ravens autograph. Pulled his 101 earlier. Yes, he does. Two clear Arsenal. Rashawn Evans, Titans. I just wish he would at least attempt to play to, to put effort into playing defense. I, I mean, I understand he's tired from offense, but Kobe did it. Jordan did it. Hell, D. Wade did it for a few seasons before his body gave up on him. Chris Warren, Raiders autograph. All great two guards are able to play offense and defense. James Harden, though, man, it's it's kind of sad, honestly. Garoppolo, 175 Niners. Yeah, that travel step back where he takes like 15 steps has been a game changer. But everybody travels in the NBA. It's the NBA. Everybody travels. Harden is just better at it. <laughs> Look at Donkic's step back is better though. He actually doesn't travel. And look at Donkic's money. That kid's gonna be crazy good, man. Harden got a crazy Euro step because because of you know he he's very crafty. He's not the most athletic dude. He's just crafty as hell. And he's a lefty too, so it's a little bit awkward there. Yeah, I saw that too, Card Arsenal. They, they should really consider giving Paul Pierce and uh, Chauncey Phillips a show of their own. I would watch it. Those boys are hilarious. And they know basketball. Good call, Richard. I mean, I was going to go through it again for the recap, but I appreciate you. Luka Doncic is most definitely a star, an all-star. I don't know if I'd have him starting, but he's definitely put up numbers to warrant a uh, an all-star selection. I don't know if I'd have him starting, though. Jalen Rose is the man. The best crew, though, has got, got to be the TNT crew. My man EJ, Shaq, Charles, and Kenny the Jet. That that inside the inside the NBA, that show is the greatest of all. Like out of all like sports, those boys are hilarious, man. Oh yeah, Kenny Smith is, is trash. They 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 need to get rid of Kenny. But Kenny's an OG. Kenny's been there since the beginning, so. It really wouldn't be the same with him. But I wouldn't mind if they replace him with like GP. When Gary Payton is on uh, on Inside the NBA or over on uh, NBA TV, it's must-watch TV, man. GP is the man. Chris Webber is pretty good as a commentator, too. Ah, Jimbo. <laughs> How's your arm feeling, my man? Hey, look, another Josh Adams for the Eagles. Man, I'm ready for the draft. I want to see how the Dolphins are going to screw the pooch this year. Harrison Phillips, Bills autograph. Try this, Jimbo. Sit on your hand until it goes numb. Maybe that'll help. Durham Smythe Dolphins Auto.
Oh man, Ahmad Rashad. Uh, I forget what that that show was called, but yes, that show was awesome. Like every Saturday morning, I think is when they they had that show. Chad Kanov, Cardinals. My man, my main man, Ahmad Rashad. <laughs> I think they they tried bringing it back. Uh, a few years ago, I don't know if they still trying to do that uh, with Grant Hill and, uh, and 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 some lady there. Six hundred Panini points right there, as you can see. Got a random that. Wow, there were two JuJu's in this case. Numbered one of five, Juju Smith Schuster for the Steelers. Very nice. Very nice. There you go, Golden Boy. All right, Cardinals did get a hit, and the Steelers right there. Still got one more box to go through in the rest of this one. Nice. Anthony Milla. On card. Rookie ticket autograph. For the Bears. Dude, Juju's, yeah, Juju's a number one. But, you know, he did have trouble against the double team uh, last year. So that's something he's going to have to work on. But I think, I think he can adjust. And that James Washington kid could be, you know, Juju, if you will. Tony Gonzalez, 49. Chiefs. Yeah, they're not going to trade Antonio Brown within the division. Uh, but I hear he wants to go to the Niners, though. Might as well boot him to the NFC. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in Pittsburgh, but, you know, the Le'Veon Bell, that should have been a huge red flag right there, that situation. And now Antonio Brown, both of your superstars, like, they're, they're, there's something wrong out there in, Pitts, in Pittsburgh. You know, that, that team arguably should probably be playing... Uh, for the for the conference championship against the Patriots right now, but you know, you think it's Roethlisberger? I'm hearing a, a lot like like Pittsburgh fans are, are pretty high on Mason Rudolph. You know, a lot of Pittsburgh fans think Mason Rudolph is gonna usurp Roethlisberger at some point. Yeah, this is a four box break, Jimbo. Yeah, whoa. It's shelved up, two card arsenal, they're still the Browns. But yeah, they they've definitely turned the corner this year. But they, they, they had they had they, they they still got ways to go. They still got ways to go. But they definitely, they found their franchise quarterback. I think they need to find the number one receiver. Uh, Jarvis Landry, as much as I love Landry, he doesn't have the speed to be a number one receiver. Uh, Nick Chubb, good running back, so we got to see how he develops. But the defense is there. They, they, got a, they got a great defense. They got a really good defense. They're just, they're young. You know, Miles Garrett, Baker, Chubb. 
They, they got a lot of young players. But their defense is solid. You know, maybe maybe get a little bit of a running game. Maybe I would if I was the Browns, I would try to go after Le'Veon Bell. Could you imagine Le'Veon Bell on that Browns team? Oh my god. Dude, you could put Le'Veon Bell, you could line up Le'Veon Bell anywhere on the field. In my opinion, I still think Le'Veon Bell is top two, three running back in the league. And he and he took the whole season off, so his body's fresh. He's good to go. I think Le'Veon Bell would kill it with the Browns. Texans might be Texans might be a good spot for Le'Veon Bell too. That would be crazy. But uh, they, they need some receivers out there. They got Hopkins. And uh, I know having uh, Will Fuller out hurt. So I guess you can I guess you can use the injury uh, bug if you like. Quadri Henderson Giants autograph. All right, I didn't mark the Bears off, so Bears in green there. Uh, and that's a Giants hit, so Giants in the green there. In case I miss anything, I'll, I'll I do a recap, so. I'll go through it again. I got a bold prediction for next season, man. Browns win that division. Actually, never mind. I forget the Ravens are still there. The Ravens are in that division, too. Actually, no. Fuck it. I'm going to say it. Browns win the division next year. Sam Darnold, 49 Jets. Why not? Why not? Let's make a bold statement. Another bold statement. Dolphins are going to continue to suck. Actually, well, that's not really bold. That's just a fact. Alex McGall, Seahawks auto. I thought so, two Steelers. But uh, I've learned to not get my hopes up with this uh, contenders. I've been pump faked many a times. Well, JW, I mean Jamal and Terrell, they're they they were more workhorse, old school running backs. You know what I mean? Whereas Le'Veon Bell, he can run between the tackles, he can run outside, and you can line him up at receiver. You you couldn't really do that with Terrell Davis. Redemption. Nice. Shaquem Griffin with the Seahawks autograph. McCaffrey's a beast. I'm glad that he's uh, turning out into a solid, solid player. But Cam Newton and the Panthers are a disaster. I, I don't know what's good. They might need a coaching change. I, I don't know, man. That team, how, dude, like how do you go from being one of the best teams to not even making the playoffs like two, three years in a row? Anyway. Kiki Kuti, the Texans rookie ticket RPS right there. Very nice. Boom. There you go, Texans. A little something, something. All right. So, we do have something to random, but first, let's random this right here. If I get an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. So, odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So, we're going to go. Uh, Chargers, Dolphins, Patriots, Niners, Packers, Jets, Packers, Niners, Patriots, Chargers, Dolphins. Make a note of that for my sorters. Boom. 
All right, since we got the number eight, we have 600 Panini points to random. So let's do that. We're going to go eight times in the randomizer. I'm just going to go ahead and get this, copy this list, come over to the list randomizer. Let's put that on your screen. Paste it. All right. Got all the teams there going eight times. Top team will be receiving 600 Panini points. Here we go. And the money shot eight. Boom, eight times. The Raiders will be receiving the uh, consolation prize of 600 Panini points. Very nice. Alrighty. So let's do a quick recap here and make sure uh, I got the right teams in green. So we got Sam Darnold, Jets 49, Gonzalez Chiefs 49, Garoppolo Niners 175, Villa Broncos 99. Right, we got Kuti Texans, Griffin Seahawks, Litton Chiefs, McGaw Seahawks, Henderson Giants, Kanoff Cardinals, Smythe Dolphins, Phillips Bills, Adams Eagles, Carter, I'm sorry, Warren uh, Raiders, Evans Titans, Averett Ravens, Adams Eagles, Smith Falcons, Scott Ravens, Jefferson Bengals, Jackson Packers, Pro Titans. And uh, what I would consider the nicest of the noise. Let's throw that back there. We got Anthony Miller Bears. Zeke Elliott to 25 Cowboys. Deshaun Hamilton, 49 Broncos. And a Juju Smith Schuster, one of five for the Steelers. Sick hit. Alrighty. Oh, but hey, we're not done. Check it out. If you're in the green, that means you got a hit. Congratulations. If you're not in the green, well, unfortunately, you did not get an autograph or a one-on-one. But don't fear. Uncle Jesse's here. So tonight only, if you don't get a hit, you could win up to $100. So let's grab that uh, list there of the folks that didn't get a hit. Copy that. Come over to the randomizer. Let's put that on your screen. Boom. So we rolled an eight earlier. We're going to go eight times in the random. Top two names win $50 each. Here we go. Good luck. Yeah, more than half the teams got hits. Nice. Six, seven in the money shot. Eight. Boom. Eight times. Top two names are Justin and Jason. Congratulations to the two of you. You will be receiving $50 in break credit each. Congrats, you guys. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.